what's going on people, welcome back to Verbal Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today, I hope this video finds you well. What is this video? Well it's something a little bit different, not exactly a Chelsea news story, although Chelsea Chelsea media, football media is linking Memphis Depay to Chelsea as one of the potential suitors if he is to be transferred out of Lyon. He's talked about Chelsea Football Club before since he's moved away from Manchester United and let's be real he's done very well indeed since moving away from Manchester United just entering his prime now really this video is me asking you the question should Chelsea consider buying Memphis Depay. Entering the last year of his contract at Lyon, like I said, a player in form, sure, a player who's endured injury problems as well, but Chelsea often buy injured players and make them okay again. We've got a good record for that. Maybe we could do it with Memphis Depay. And maybe he is exactly what Chelsea need. All is going to be explained throughout this video and I can make a pretty darn good case for it. So strap yourselves in and enjoy the ride while I take you through the story of Memphis Depay. Oh my god, that rhymed, I hate myself. Anyway, if you enjoy Chelsea Football Club content and you'd like daily content, why not subscribe to Football Therapy Man, where well, I'm uploading at least once a day, apparently. So do sub, hit the bell notifications icon, and you want to help me out, like the video. That would be kind. All right, let's get on with it. Memphis Depay, Dutch international. 26 years old, plays in League 1, uh, which is a top five league, let's remember. And of course flopped at Man United. I mean, there's not much getting around it. He kind of did flop at Man United, but so did so many players. They were a difficult, well, they probably remain in many ways, a difficult place to go and succeed. Memphis Depay is a baller. He's good. He's a good footballer. He absolutely exploded um, and he was at the wrong club. He was at Manchester United. He went there for the badge, understandably. He was very young in 2015. And he went for a big money move, and it didn't work out. Louis van Gaal was not the man for him. No one nurtured his talents properly. He did not have the right chemistry of his teammates. Systemically, it didn't suit him. It was a recipe for disaster. So yeah, he flopped at United. But is that his fault? Not entirely. If you speak to a lot of sports and football analysts that look at Memphis Depay, he's really highly rated as a player. He's excellent, he's a very talented footballer, and I'm going to tell you why. First off, he is a very versatile auxiliary forward, all-round forward Memphis Depay. He can play in uh, cam positions, attacking midfielder positions, he can play striker very well, and he can play left wing. So, why is that important? Well, Chelsea are looking for this kind of versatile auxiliary forward, or certainly it's a big target idea for them. Look at the likes of Dries Mertens, who Frank Lampard does really, really, really want. He can play several positions, you know, cam, winger, striker. So can Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay is uh, six, seven years younger than Dries Mertens. I love Dries Mertens. I'm just thinking of this from a sensible purchase perspective. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're going, Jan, sure, he can play loads of positions, great to be versatile, but is he posting good numbers since he left Manchester United, man? Well, first off, before I say them, yes, they're in league, uh. That's the fifth ranks best league in Europe, which obviously is a very high level. Remember, he starts for the Netherlands as well and plays very well for them. But yes, the numbers he's posting in France are a madness. Last season, he got double figures and goals and assists, 10 and 10. And the season before that, he got 19 goals and 13 assists. 32 goal involvements in the league for a sort of versatile forward. Very, very good indeed. In fact, incredible numbers. That's like what Eden Hazard posted in his last season for Chelsea. Granted, a different level, but I want to stress and maintain what I'm saying in this video. You can't really just reflect Memphis Depay at his time on United or at United, because people will be forgiven for saying, well, you can't do it in the Premier League. That's what happened in the Premier League. But interestingly, the reason why Memphis Depay went to Lyon is because he contracted a sort of a stats analysis company, a data company. They have this like intellectual comprehensive system, systematic ways. I, hold on, I can't really talk. Basically, 
It's a really complex way of analysing a player, analysing a team and how they play and marrying them together. They did that and Leon was one of the top teams that came up. Lo and behold, he exploded at Leon and he's played incredibly well ever since. So, regardless to your judgement on Memphis Depay from his time at Manchester United and you know only scoring a couple of goals or whatever, you have to concede the situation was. It was an awful transfer for him, it was an awful fit in terms of teammates and manager, and all round an awful time for the player. Not only would a different transfer to a different club offer different opportunities and different outcomes, the player himself would have grown and developed. He was very young back then, now he's in his prime, 26 years old. It could be an excellent purchase. A cheap one too, Memphis Depay is going into his last year at Lyon and obviously his contract there has been a superb success and being 26 years old he's probably hoping for a big move to another big club. Now last year he spoke about a potential destination after Lyon and he listed off a couple of clubs um, he did list off two Premier League clubs one was Manchester City which must be funny for the United fans and one was Chelsea. Now honestly I don't see Man City going in for Memphis Depay but for Chelsea Football Club, I think they should. Kind of for the same reasons why they should go for Drews Mertens. I really like Drews Mertens, he's a personal favourite, that's why I'd like him to come to Chelsea. But if Chelsea are looking for someone who can play on the wing or down the middle when Tammy Abraham's misfiring, Memphis Depay is your man. He doesn't have to be boxed into one position on the pitch, and Chelsea could play to his strengths. So, where are we with this? 26 years old, entering his prime, one year left on this deal could offer a really good purchasing opportunity. He's been posting incredible numbers uh, in a top five league. He said he would like to come to Chelsea. Chelsea are looking for someone who can play as a striker and a winger. So far, he matches all the criteria. Like I said before, there's a couple of news stories linking Chelsea to Memphis Depay, but nothing concrete. Don't get me wrong, this video is, nothing, is not me telling you there's strong links with Chelsea and Memphis Depay. It's just talking about it. Honestly, the biggest concern would probably be the fact how he's had injury problems and not played so much recently due to injury problems. But like I said, Chelsea have bought injured players and rehabilitated them through said injuries and they've been fine. Remember Ross Barkley was like near career ending injury or long term injury before he came to Chelsea and he's pretty much been fine ever since he signed for us and we rehabbed him appropriately. Think what you will of Ross Barkley but it just demonstrates that ability at Chelsea Football Club. It could be a really bit of shrewd and canny business buying Memphis to buy and it would be an opportunity for the player to prove himself in the best league in the world again and you know if you're a forward and you're an attacker who can score goals who can register a lot of assists you'd want to join a Premier League side that cooks up a lot of opportunities that likes to play with the ball that generally wants to play attacking football and that could well be Frank Lampard's Chelsea football club it wouldn't necessarily make Tammy Abraham think, well, he's just going to be a centre forward to replace me. He'll think, oh, okay, he can play down the middle if I'm not scoring goals. Because he can also play on the left wing, so Christian Pulisic's going to have to like sharpen up. Do you know what I mean? Hakim Ziyech is probably pretty safe on the right wing. But, you know, if Chelsea play a 4-2-3-1, he can play in behind Tammy Abraham and links up very, very well. We've seen it for Holland, we've seen it for Lyon. I think it could be really good. But anyway, what do you guys think? Get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts and opinions. Do you, like me, think him and Manchester United were a really bad match for a load of reasons? Or do you think he just genuinely can't do it in the Premier League? Express your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed today's content, then why not like the video, man? That means a lot. Subscribe to Football Therapy if you are new to the channel. Go and support my second channel for additional content from yours truly. Link in top of the description. And the final plug I'm going to squeeze into this video is follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that's nearly happening again, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. 
In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby in my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby